Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing some new makeup. So I'm going to kind of walk through my routine today, trying some newer products. Most of the stuff I have used before, but they are newer releases and I kind of wanted to give you guys my thoughts on them. So we have everything from primer all the way to lips, foundation, eyeshadow, all of that. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we have to apply our SPF. I've been trying to do better at sunscreen and trying to wear it every day. Even if I am just inside, you just never know. It's like the most important part of your skincare routine, which brings us to today's video sponsor, which is Tula. So this is the Tula Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel. This is what I have been using every day for sunscreen. You guys already know I love and use this product. So this sunscreen in particular, it is a chemical sunscreen. It does use avabenzone as the main sunscreen ingredient, which blocks from UVA and UVB rays. But what's also nice with this one, it's also going to protect from blue light and it's going to give your skin a beautiful glow. So I feel like it really does a lot for you. I wear this all the time on my no makeup makeup days as well because it just gives the skin such a beautiful glow, but it's not too oily. You guys know I have oily skin. I am very breakout prone and this does not break me out whatsoever. It's just so nice. It's very lightweight. It's not super thick. It doesn't have a strong smell on the skin. So it's just all around my favorite sunscreen of all time. And I also wear this with my masks and I don't break out from that either. So this has really been helping me and I have noticed a difference since I've been using sunscreen every day. I feel like my skin just, it looks a lot better and actually incorporating some other Tula products into my skincare routine. If you guys can see my skin right now, did you guys see it two weeks ago? It was terrible. Um, my skin is definitely clearing up. I've been switching up some things and Tula had sent me quite a few things that I've been trying out as well. And yes, my skin is getting so much better. I'm healing up these acne scars and I don't really have any new breakouts right now. So I'm just really excited about these things. If you guys have not heard of Tula, they actually do sell their stuff on Ulta. I think you can get some of their stuff in store on Ulta as well. So something new I wanted to try for today's testing new makeup video. This is actually a primer from them. They do have a couple different primers, but I've been really interested in this one. I don't know if you guys follow Michaela on TikTok. I can't remember her exact username, but she's always like convincing me to buy all these makeup things. I absolutely love her TikTok page and Instagram. And I think she mentioned this, that it was a pretty close dupe to the Milk Makeup Gripping Primer, which I love a good gripping primer. So this is the Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. Look at this, you guys, this is crazy. This is a kind of thick gel consistency. And I'm gonna try to use this as a primer and see how it does. So it kind of feels like really blurring like kind of that silicone feel so I'm gonna ooh, this really does melt onto the fingertips so I'm just gonna put this mostly in my t-zone here so we can prime I was worried about the consistency since it is so thick in here actually when you get it on the skin it like literally melts I can feel the stickiness and it does not feel silicone -y at all now so very interesting texture it almost feels like a cooling water on the face really good so here is our base for the day um i did want to mention tula did give me a discount code if you guys are interested in using that on their website i will have it here as well as in the description box but thank you so much to tula for sponsoring this video it's already a brand that i absolutely love and as you guys could see the difference in my skin it's really been helping so thank you tula now that we have our base for the makeup, we are going to get on to the foundation and I'm so excited to share this one with you because I feel like it has been raved about recently. This is new from NARS. It is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. It's supposed to be a full coverage matte finish which I am all about and I love NARS foundations. They are so good at making complexion products I must say so I know this is going to be good. I just know it. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with their concealer, the Soft Matte Concealer. This is kind of a spin-off of that. That stuff used to be my favorite. I haven't repurchased it for a while. I don't know. I just, some newer stuff came out and I kind of forgot about it. But I used to use that all the time for my blemishes because it would not budge and it had so much coverage. So this is kind of supposed to be like that. So I've been using my Beauty Blender again. I know it does sheer out the foundation a little bit, but um, I just really like 
how it feels like I don't know I just feel like it feels so much lighter on the skin than when I use my brush so that's why I've been doing it that way and now that my skin is a little bit more clear I can wear it a little bit more on the sheer side so this shade is Mont Blanc that's usually the shade I wear in NARS uh, it has a slight pinky undertone to it so it is a cool toned foundation color all right so I'm just covering down here on these scars I don't even think I need to use concealer down there because this does have amazing coverage here's how it looks for this full coverage effect my skin seriously it looks so perfect let me even just turn the brightness down a bit so you can see sometimes that brings out flaws more but I just feel like it looks so good on the skin next I'm going to skip over to the eyes and I had a lot of you guys request to try out this Juvia's Place palette so we are going to do that I've only swatched it so far and I'm really excited to see how this is this is the new taupes palette from Juvia's Place and I love the color scheme here it is kind of more cooler toned neutrals but I have heard mixed opinions on this so I'm really curious to see how it's going to be I thought it swatched nice like the shimmers were very stunning but yeah I have heard some mixed opinions so I want to try it for myself and see how this performs I'm gonna start off with this lighter taupe shade and we'll build it up so this is gonna go into the crease this shade is pretty light I'm gonna see if it will build up at all but I plan on doing a darker color over that but it is kind of this light sand kind of shade Let's go in with this color now. It's a little bit darker. These colors are taking a lot to build up. So that's a little bit disappointing because I'm pretty fair and these colors are barely showing up on me. So I can see maybe why people don't love this palette. Let me go into this kind of gray color here. It's like a taupey gray in the outer corner. I was gonna see if this was comparable to the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, but performance-wise, these mattes really do not even compare, not even on the same level as the Natasha. So if you're wanting something cool toned, honestly, I really love that Glam Palette. It's gorgeous. This is, ah, this is really disappointing, I have to say. Like the colors blend fine and the formula feels nice but the pigmentation is really lackluster with the mattes at least i haven't tried the shimmers i feel like the shimmers are gonna be good because when i swatched them they were really good and super creamy i'm gonna take this more brown shade on my lower lash line Next, I'm going to go into this smoky gray on a wet brush and place this on the lid. This does apply pretty nice, but I think I'm going to like it better with my finger. So the fingers, I just feel like they're always the best tool for a shimmery color. So we'll just dip into that. I really like these metallic shades though. It sucks that the mattes kind of ruin it for me. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. I mean, it does create a really pretty soft look, but for most people, I just feel like this palette is not gonna work, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day and I'll give you guys my final thoughts later. Next is concealer, so I'm gonna try this one again. I've actually been using this quite a few times and I'm starting to like it. I didn't like it at first, but it is now growing on me. It just has really good coverage. I did use it a lot for covering up my pimples that I had and it stays really well, but I'm gonna use this under the eyes again. The shade is a bit dark for me, but I mean, I've been really liking it. It gives a really good coverage under there. I'm using the Hourglass Diffuse Light Powder to brighten up the under eyes and set. Since we are using a little bit of a darker concealer. Most of my other powders are mattifying and I don't really like to matte underneath the eyes just because 
that's going to kind of settle into fine lines and stuff. So that's why I like to kind of set with a different powder underneath that area. For my mascara, I don't think I've used this one on camera yet. I don't know, maybe I did, but I'm going to show you guys today because I love it. There's been honestly really good mascaras coming out lately. Like I love the Pat McGrath Dark Star. The Marc Jacobs is excellent. Uh, the Urban Decay Lash Freak. There's been some really good ones. And I can't pick a favorite, but this Marc Jacobs one is pretty dang good. I'm not even going to do falsies today. We're just going to have this on and I'll show you how incredible it makes the lashes look. I like that this one has a smaller wand on it so you could really define them and not make a huge mess because that's the worst when you smudge mascara on your freshly applied eyeshadow. <laughs> I will say this one does clump up a little bit as you guys could see, but I kind of like the look that it gives. It just makes them look so much longer and thick. I'm going to set my foundation in with this Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. I still can't get over how flawless my skin looks. It just, seriously, it looks like I have a filter on. Crazy. All right, let's move on over to the brows. I do have a new brow product to use. This one is from Benefit. It is their brow microfilling pen, which is supposed to give you the look of like microbladed brows. As you guys can see, it has like the three prongs there to kind of look like you're sketching them out. So I'm really curious to see how this works. Um, yeah, this will be the first time I'm trying it. So it's supposed to give hair like strokes. Let's do this. So I'm just kind of going up and down and I'm just filling in what I can. Just lightly going through. But it does feel like a pen. Like, um, it does feel like, like a Sharpie or something almost. So you can kind of flip it around to see what you want to do with it. Okay, so here's kind of how it looks after I did it. I don't really feel like, I feel like some people did it and it actually looks like microbladed, but I feel like maybe my brows are too small because it kind of just looks like normal, like I filled them in. But I mean, it was fast and it did the job, but I don't know if I'm like doing it wrong. Looking at them, they do look a little bit more feathered than normal, but I wouldn't say... It's something I'm going to like repurchase. But I do feel like they kind of look more hair-like than my normal brow pencil. But I don't know. Kind of a fun product that Benefit came out with. I feel like they are trying to come up with different ideas and stuff like that. Back to the face. Let's try out this NARS bronzer. How gorgeous. I just picked this up. This is their newer bronzer. It's not super new, but it is one of their newer launches like it came out for summer this is the paradise found bronzer and it is so beautiful it does have a slight scent to it um but i do feel like this is a different formula than their usual laguna so i'm really excited to have it it does have this gold overlay so i'm trying not to get into that and mostly just use this but i did try it the other day and it seemed to be a very soft buildable formula i'm just gonna dip in to the top portion and apply this to the cheeks I wish I got this actually during the summer because it has such a nice summer set and it gives a really pretty glow to the face. So far, I do really like this bronzer. I think it's really pretty. Something that I feel like always happens to me with bronzer, it like collects in this portion. Like I feel like I have a circle here and then it doesn't want to like blend down and this always happens to me. So let me know if you guys have any tips for that because I don't know why it does that. I'm tapping it with my beauty blender and I think that's helping. Alright, next up is blush. I have not used this one on camera yet. This is from Patrick Ta, and it is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in She's So LA. And I feel like this color is definitely very unique. It's gorgeous. This is what it looks like. It comes with a cream and a powder. And I have really been liking it. I feel like I'm pretty impressed with most of the stuff that Patrick Ta has come out with. So I'm going to dip in to the cream portion and apply that to the apples on my cheeks and up a little bit this really is not as dark as you would think because it looks like brown here but on the cheeks it's very light 
the cream portion of the blush is extremely glowy too we'll top it with a little bit of the powder the powder is definitely a little bit more pigmented so I try not to use too much of that but this just will kind of set it in place but this color just kind of reminds me of like a, a burnt spice kind of shade it's really pretty especially for fall Next up, we'll do lips. I got this cute little lip set from P. Louise. I've never tried anything from this brand, so I'm really excited to see how this looks. I got this in a treadmill box. Now, I'm not sure with P. Louise if they sell on any major retailers. Um, I've seen their stuff, obviously, on their website. I'm really curious. I feel like they're based in, like, the UK, possibly. So let me try out this lip liner. This is an Achievement, and I like that it's a twist-up one because I'm lazy and don't like to sharpen my pencils very often. And this color is pretty dark. I just kind of rubbed my lips together and the lip liner kind of transferred up. So I don't know if that's a good thing necessarily because I like my lip liner to be a little more budge proof than that. But maybe it just needs to set a bit. And then it will go in with the lipstick that came in the kit. This is in Heights. Which this one looked so pretty when I swatched it. So I'm really excited to see how this is. Ooh, this is super warm. I don't know if it's going to look good with this eye look. I'll put it on and then I might switch it. Um, I might just leave it. I think it's fine. I mean, it's not like it has to be super matchy-matchy here. But this definitely is a lot more of a warmer lip than I was expecting. I thought it would be a little bit more pinky. But to me, it's more peach. Almost orange looking. But I do like how it looks together. The lip liner and the combination with the lipstick. The lipstick was quite a bit lighter, so it does give you that kind of contoured plump effect on the lips. But I think it's pretty, but I don't know if it's a shade I'll reach for a ton. Because I do like a little bit more cool tone lips, but maybe for fall it could be fun. So let me know what you guys think of this lip color. Alright, so this is the look we came up with trying out this new makeup. I am going to take my hair out and do it and straighten it because I need to film a couple videos today. And so that's why if my hair changes at the end, that, that is why. But um, I'm going to go ahead and wear this. I want to give it a good at least six hours. We'll see if I can make it to eight um, and update you guys how I like everything at the end on my vlog camera. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back for my check-in and final thoughts on the products. Let's go over the primer and foundation. Like I said, that primer I was really impressed with. I I loved how it felt on the skin. I do think that it helped keep my makeup on long and it did give kind of a smoothing blurred effect to the skin which I really liked. So really enjoyed that Tula primer. And then of course the NARS soft matte foundation is what I have on now. This is how it is held up after 8 hours which is a typical day. I would say it's getting a little bit oily right now but honestly I have oily skin and it's actually looking really nice. Like I'm going to probably put some powder on and I think it will still be good because I don't think it's really like worn off anywhere but it's just getting a little bit oily plus I'm in front of my lights so it looks worse let me put on a little bit of powder and see yeah I feel like touching that up with powder literally just solved everything and it looks flawless still like I could still go even longer with this foundation on this honestly the foundation is probably in my top two that I've tried this year I'm really loving it it just hits a lot of things that I love like the coverage is good it's matte but it's not too matte and it just looks gorgeous on the skin and it holds my oil pretty well so for me I'm really loving this NARS foundation I think it is stunning for the eyes with the Juvia's Place palette I feel like the shimmers are so pretty like honestly my eyeshadow has lasted well today but I have to rate the palette as a whole and as a whole I don't really recommend this particular one because those matte shades were kind of a fail for me they were not dark enough and they're not gonna work for most people so for me I would probably pass on that one I'm gonna try out the more colorful ones and hope that those are better but I just really wasn't impressed with the palette I mean yeah I love the shimmer and I think it created a gorgeous eyeshadow look but with my palette I need all the shades to work and not just a couple the mascara I love you guys already know it's really gorgeous it hasn't smeared at all it stayed put uh, the concealer, the Makeup Forever concealer, I have been still trying to test it. I'll give you guys a close-up. I see a little bit of darkness, 
but I honestly think that it held up pretty well for a concealer. Usually concealers never ever hold up on me and I have been liking the makeup for everyone. I think it is pretty good. If you have very, very dry under eyes, maybe not since it is more matte, but I like how it looks underneath the eyes. Um, the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen, that was interesting. I wasn't sure about it as at first. Like I didn't think it really did the cool strokes and stuff, but I do like how my brows look. I do feel like they do look a little bit more natural than when I use a brow pencil but I feel like it did take a little bit of extra effort so I'm kind of in between on how I feel about that one I'll definitely want to test it out a few more times uh, my bronzer the NARS bronzer it has held up except I am it's doing that thing again where it's kind of very pigmented here and then like my bronzer goes away in this area but I like the color um, the only annoying thing with it is, of course, it has that gold overspray. A lot of people gave it a bad review because of that, but it's a beautiful formula. I think it blends out well, but I just don't know why mine does that. It, like, disappears halfway. The blush kind of gave me a natural highlight. I really love that Patrick Ta blush. I think it is gorgeous. I still feel like we have some color there, and it did give me a nice glow to the skin, so that one is a win. And then my lip product, it actually lasted pretty well. Of course, since we did the lip liner, that one definitely stayed put. I think it was a really nice formula, the P. Louise lip set, but I don't love, love, love the color, but it was growing on me, so I think I might be using that a little bit more for fall. I think that's covered pretty much everything we tried out today. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out Tula. I will leave the link down below for that as well as my discount code. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.